Today's topic is edema. Edema is swelling caused by excess fluid trapped in the body's tissues, especially the skin. Edema usually occurs in the skin, especially on the legs, feet, and ankles, but it can affect other parts of the body, including the muscles, bowels, eye, lungs, and brain. The body's organs have interstitial spaces where fluid can be trapped and accumulate, and there are different examples of edema in specific organs. When there is an accumulation of fluid in the interstitial tissue around the alveoli in the lungs, it is referred to as pulmonary edema. Pulmonary edema is a serious condition as it can make it hard to breathe. Cerebral edema is also a very serious condition in which fluid builds up in the brain. This condition may result from a range of reasons, many of which are life-threatening, such as trauma to the head, tumor, allergic reaction, or if a blood vessel gets blocked or bursts. It can cause loss of consciousness, leading to brain herniation and even death. Macular edema occurs when fluid builds up in a part of the eye called the macula, the part of the eye that enables detailed central vision. Macular edema is a serious complication of diabetic retinopathy. Peripheral edema usually affects the hands, arms, legs, and feet. Papal edema occurs when there is pressure inside the skull and around the brain, resulting in swelling of the optic nerve of the eye. Edema usually starts slowly, but the onset can be sudden. It is a common problem, but can also be a sign of a serious medical condition. It is important to check with a doctor if there is a concern about any kind of swelling. Causes Mild cases of edema may be caused by being pregnant, eating too much salty food, sitting or staying in one position for too long, such as when traveling over a long distance, having premenstrual signs and symptoms, high altitude, burns, and sunburn. Edema can also be a side effect of some medications, such as estrogens, NSAIDs, or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, such as ibuprofen and naproxen. Thiazolid diadinones, or diabetes medications, steroid drugs, some chemotherapy drugs, calcium channel blockers. Several disease and conditions, such as congestive heart failure, kidney disease, kidney damage, cirrhosis, severe long-term protein deficiency, thyroid disease, varicose veins. Edema caused by malnutrition defines kwashiorkor. Symptoms. Swelling or puffiness directly under the skin, especially in the arms or legs. Stretched or shiny skin over the swollen area. Difficulty moving joints. An increased abdominal size. Difficulty breathing. Chest pain and shortness of breath in pulmonary edema. Skin that retains an indentation, like pits or a dimple, after pressure is applied to a small area for several seconds. If left untreated, edema can cause an increased risk of skin ulcers, scarring between layers of tissues, decreased blood circulation, difficulty walking, increased risk of infection in the swollen area. Diagnosis and Treatment To make a diagnosis, the doctor will review your medical history and perform a physical exam. The doctor may also order tests including x-rays, ultrasound exams, MRI, urine analysis, or blood tests. All these might help to determine the underlying cause of your edema. Treatment Mild cases of edema usually resolve on their own, particularly with certain lifestyle adjustment. More severe cases of edema may be treated with medications that help the body expel excess fluid in the urine, like diuretics. Based on your personal medical history, your doctor will determine if this treatment option is good for you. Long-term management of edema focuses on treating the underlying condition causing your swelling. If edema is caused by medication use, the doctor may check for alternative medicine that doesn't cause edema or adjust your prescriptions. 
Certain lifestyle modifications that can help lessen edema include exercise, massage, reduced salt intake, compression socks, sleeves, or gloves to prevent swelling from recurring after it might have gone down in your limbs, elevating the affected leg or arm above heart level several times a day. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.